Welcome to the Parrot Center at Loyalist College. Discover your library at loyalistlibrary.com. This video is one in a series that explores searching and research skills. In this video, we'll show you how to find information by doing a basic search using Catalyst. Catalyst is the library search tool. You can use Catalyst to search the physical books on our shelves and the electronic content in our databases. A database is a searchable collection of information. And in a library, a database is where you'll find electronic content, like journal and news articles, ebooks, streaming video, and more. One of the most common questions we get is, why should I use Catalyst? Why not Google? Google and Google Scholar are great tools to start your search, but they shouldn't be the only tool you use to look for information. Here's why. First is paywalls. Many academic resources are secured behind paywalls. You may have already encountered this, if you've been looking for an article, only to get stuck on a page with a message asking you to pay to view it. The Parrot Center subscribes to hundreds of different databases that give you access to an incredible amount of information. And you don't have to worry about paying, we've taken care of it for you. If we don't have access to something that you need, we can often get it from another college using a free service called Interlibrary Loan. Second is credibility and accuracy. We know that anyone can publish anything on the internet and not all of it is reliable. It can be difficult to tell if a website or page that we're looking at is accurate and credible. The resources that you'll find using Catalyst have been carefully selected to support what you're learning in the classroom and the assignments and projects that you're working on. They come from reputable publishers and vendors, and you can feel confident that you're looking at high quality, accurate information. Third is variety. When most people think of a library, they think books. The Parrot Center does have books, but we also provide you with access to other kinds of resources, including peer-reviewed articles, newspaper and magazine articles, streaming video, ebooks, and so much more. Fourth is findability. The kinds of resources that you'll need for your projects and assignments might not be easily found through a generic search engine like Google, if they can be found at all. Google casts a wide net and searches a broad range of sources, but it doesn't go very deep, so it's easy to miss out on good information. By using a library search tool like Catalyst, you can create a specific targeted search and find exactly what you need, and hopefully discover something new along the way. Fifth is assistance. Looking for information is complicated. It's easy to think of it as a simple process, especially if you've always lived in a world where the internet existed. We pull out our phone, type in what we need, and it appears. But finding information is a learned skill, just like everything else. When you choose to use the library to find information, you also have access to library staff. Just as you're going to school to become an expert in your chosen field, library staff went to school to become experts in information. And we're here to help you in person, by phone or by email, to find exactly what you need and to make the process less confusing. Now that we know what Catalyst is and why it's important, how do we find it? You can find Catalyst by visiting the library's website at www.loyalistlibrary.com. Once you've arrived on our website, you'll find Catalyst about halfway down the page. One important feature that you need to know about before searching Catalyst is your library account. If you're working off campus, you'll need to sign into your library account to see the full text of articles, to request print books, and to use all of the tools built into Catalyst that help you with your search. Your library account login is the same as your My Loyalist login. Before you do a search, you'll need to create your search strategy. A search strategy is a group of words that you use to look for information. It's a key part of doing successful research, and it's also a big time saver. Read over your assignment to make sure you understand what information you need to find. Pick out the most important keywords and take a few minutes to brainstorm alternatives to those words. This is important because searching for different words that express the same idea or have similar meanings can bring you different results. For example, you might search for something career-related using the word career, but you could also try work or job or employment. You might need to try more than one search to get good results, so it's helpful to have a list of words ready to go. You can learn more about creating a good search strategy by watching our search strategies video. It's also important to remember that you shouldn't write your search in a full sentence, and that you shouldn't include words like journal, article, information, or the name of your course or program. These are too general and will give you too many results that aren't useful. 
Instead, try and be as specific as possible. Once you have a group of two or three words, type them into the box and click search. On the next page, you'll see your results, which are listed down the center of the screen. Because Catalyst searches the physical books on our shelves and the electronic content in our databases, you'll see a mix of formats. Books, ebooks, journal articles, streaming videos, and more. On the left side of your screen are the filters, which you can use to narrow down your search results. If you haven't already signed into your library account, you'll see a prompt at the top of the screen reminding you to do so. Remember, your library login is the same as your My Loyalist login. Once you've signed in, your name will appear in the top right corner of the screen. It's likely that you'll have a large number of search results, especially if you chose very general search terms. It's important to filter your results so you can find information that is more relevant to your topic. Your first option for filtering your results is changing the words in the box at the top of the screen. You can do this at any time. You can also use the filters on the left side of the screen. Just like the words you put into the search box, the filters you choose will depend on what you're asked to do in your assignment. Let's take a closer look at some of the filters that you might want to use. You have the option to limit your results to content from peer-reviewed or scholarly journals. When we say that something is peer-reviewed, we mean that prior to being published, it's been reviewed by a group of people who specialize in the same subject area as the author of the article, or their peers, hence peer review. Next on the list of filters is date. We can see that the results in this list range from 1930 to 2020. If you're doing historical research, some of these very old materials might be useful, but chances are your assignment will require you to find more recent information. You can use the arrows to move the date range up or down, or you can put your cursor in the box and type in the date range that you need. Click Refine, and this date range will be applied to your results. You can also limit by format. You can choose one format to focus on, or more than one. The formats you choose will depend on the requirements of your assignment and what kind of information you need. For example, if you need information related to current events, you might want to choose newspaper articles. If you need an in-depth examination of a topic, a book is a great choice. If you don't select any of these, they will all be included in your list of results. You can learn more about these different kinds of formats and what kind of information they have by watching our video on types of library resources. Next on the list of filters is subjects, which you might hear library staff call subject headings. Subjects work a bit like hashtags. They provide more information about the content of an item and can be used to sort and organize material. You can choose one or several subjects to include in your search to make it more specific and to find resources that are more relevant to your topic. If you don't choose any of these, they will all be included. When you apply a filter, it will appear at the top of your screen under the heading Active Filters. You can remove a filter at any time by clicking on the X beside it. Your screen will automatically refresh and the new results will be displayed. Once you have a search strategy and a set of filters that you're happy with, it's time to take a closer look at your results. To see more information about an item, click on the title. This will open a new page with more detailed information. In the library, we call this the detailed record. At the top of the record, you'll see publication information, including the title, author, date of publication, and for journal and news articles, volume and issue, and page numbers. Below this, you'll see tools to print, email, and link to this record. It's important to remember that these tools apply to the record and not the full text. Next to these, you'll see the citation tool. You'll always be expected to cite your sources, to give credit for information and ideas that are not your own. When you click on this tool, you'll see a list of citation styles. Click on the citation style required by your course. The software will automatically generate a citation for the resource in that citation style. It's very important to remember that you need to double check these citations for accuracy against the manual recommended by your instructor. Next to this, you have options to export this reference to EndNote or RefWorks. For more information on both of these tools, consult the library. As we scroll down, we find more information about the availability of the resource. For print books, you'll see a call number which can be used to find the book on the shelf. For more information on how to use a call number to find a book, watch our call number video. For electronic resources, 
like journal and news articles, ebooks, and streaming videos, you'll see a link or links to the resource. In the case of journal and news articles, there might be more than one link if the article is available in more than one database. To see the full text of an article or ebook, or to view the streaming video, click on one of these links. At the bottom of the record, you'll see the subject headings assigned to this resource, and in many cases, a description of the content. Catalyst also has tools built in that help you save your search results, and even your search itself. In the top right corner of the record, you'll see an icon that looks like a thumbtack. This same icon can be seen in the top right corner of the records on the main results screen. If you click on either of these, the record is pinned to your account. Remember, you need to be signed into your library account to use this feature. At the top of the results screen, you'll see a similar icon and some text that reads Save Query. This allows you to save your search, including your search terms and any filters that you've applied. Once you've pinned a record or a search to your account, you can view these at any time, provided you're signed in to your library account. You can click on the thumbtack icon at the top of the page, or click on your name and select My Favorites. Both will take you to your favorites page, where you can see any record or search that you've pinned. In the case of a pinned search, you can click on the search and Catalyst will rerun it all over again. You can also assign your own labels or tags to your results to help organize them. You could use a keyword, the name of your course or course code, whatever makes sense to you. And that's it. Now you know how to perform a basic search in Catalyst, how to filter your results, and how to use the tools built into Catalyst to make your research process easier. This video is one in a series on searching and research skills. The other videos in this series will introduce you to the library's website, teach you how to create a search strategy, and more. We've also created a handout that you can use to guide you through a basic search in Catalyst. If you have questions or need extra help, get in touch with us using the contact information below.